Remember, get that head, get, get that, that bread, bread daily. Peace out! <laughs>
or see or watch or anything and yeah. they be up late like you think you put your kids to bed they really up there at four five o'clock in the morning on the tablet watching youtube and stuff like that just like you don't know like and then it just like kids are like starting to talk back to like their parents have yeah, like less respect and then like i don't know like it just seemed like this generation is just soft it's like it's, it's just soft like i feel like people are so emotional and actually honestly i think what it was i feel like people probably would have been soft or more emotional back then if they had technology too but since we like they wasn't exposed to like more stuff to be like really get cyber bullied and stuff like, like that, that right. like they had to like meet up with niggas to see them and shit right. like that like they exactly. couldn't just be like, like us growing up we was out in the freedom yeah. like fighting like we ride, our lives, ride like, our bikes to every each day house. like we can we can't even go to the grocery store to pick up some breadsticks without like having an altercation like man that, and now and today like it's all behind the screen everybody want to run the facebook everybody want to run the instagram like posts yeah. and like but that's just you putting your business out there in society and the world so yeah but yeah so that's how i feel about like stereotypes and stuff like that i don't know it's a lot that goes into that it, it is a lot that goes into stereotypes everything is not like how it used to be like mm -hmm. for I sure think. like you just can tell like times is just different and like and you try to like argue that with like older people and stuff and like they don't understand like it's different but everybody feels like they know everything yeah <laughs> you can't tell don't nobody really know you nothing can't, no, you really but just yeah, go through you life can't, trying but, to figure stuff out but you can't tell nobody anything because they would take it as disrespect or they take it as like you trying to like press them or talk them down, and it's not even like. Well, that. I feel like everybody's not like that, but no, it's a that's small what I'm percentage no, of people that is like that. Those are people that's like they understand life more. I feel like like you in life, you you have to learn from others. It's yeah. no other way. Like some people have been here before you, so they may know more than you yeah. and you can learn right. from that people don't know how to take constructive criticism that's really that's what, what it is, is. they they so is. defensive and it's because mm -hmm. i feel like they be insecure within themselves Self. so yep. whenever time somebody come at them they feel like it's an attack mm -hmm. and sometimes it sometimes it can be attacked but sometimes it don't be attacked they just be battling their own demons and they insecure about it so yeah, right. it's crazy that goes into a lot of stuff all right so how do you feel about men and women when it comes to splitting bills and paying bills okay so i love this topic because i be seeing this all the time on like instagram and facebook and stuff i personally feel like what works for you and your partner is what works for you like i feel like like it goes back to back in the day how they say that men supposed to provide which you know i want somebody that's gonna provide for me and stuff but i will also want to help too i won't want to put all that pressure it's like since the beginning they always like kind of cut out men feelings or how right. men feel or like what if a man like he want to provide but he don't want to do all of that like dang that might put right. a, a, a fucked up toll on his mental because he got to work a hundred fucking hours to provide for his family and his kids and stuff like that like i feel like people don't realize that men are human too and they have emotions and they get tired even though you know that's how it was like men supposed to do this and take care of the family but at the same time i feel like yo woman should like understand like okay like he human too he has feelings i know he gets tired yeah. so let me step in and help so i personally feel like with me i wouldn't mind like doing 50 50 or 70 30 30 yeah. you know 70 30 maybe yeah. 70 30 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> something but, like that but i would want to contribute i would want to help exactly. because i wouldn't just want him to have to like be breaking his back slaving and stuff while i'm just sitting up kick back like relaxing like i don't feel like that's fair like we both are human. And then yeah. women always want to talk about how they want equality. Right. You can't just say it in one area. Hey, for me, all I'm saying is you got to be bringing something to the table. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be just, like, one way. Like, we can, like, I feel like them, me being a man, you should, you should pay more and take upon more responsibility of the bills. Mm -hmm. Just you being a man. Yeah. But also your woman can't be a moocher you can't you can't be doing everything for her like she has to be bringing something to the table too like 
if y'all not growing together then why is why are you with her like why are y'all together that, that's somebody that's bringing you down or gonna put you in a worse situation than what you already in sure. so you got to get with somebody that's gonna help you grow and mm -hmm. that's gonna help you stack money mm -hmm. and make your income yep. increase so that you and her are both financially stable and once you get to that point in life then splitting bills and shit like that like that's nothing like your wife got it i got it this month pay it you got it next month pay it and it's and then it just to go on like that yeah. like it shouldn't be like oh you always got to pay it shouldn't be one way or the highway yeah. but like i said but you being a man like you yeah. you have the responsibility of taking care of those bills yeah but it's not all dependent on you yeah so we basically kind of got like the same view on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some people be like, like I, I be saying all the time, I be like, like if my man want to pay all the bills, and I be like, no, babe, like I got you. He be like, no. I be like, oh, let's see, I ain't about to keep right. asking you. But I would still want to contribute. Like I'd be like, okay, well, I'll supply the groceries or, you know, when we go out, I'll pay. Like stuff like because that. Because believe like it a, or not, niggas do get tired of that shit. Like, what? that, like them always paying even though they might like offer it and be like oh yeah i got it this and that sometimes it could be a test just to see like yeah, if you ever like, yeah. if you just with me for the money mm -hmm. or like if you just it is what it is yeah. like so that's what i'm saying sometimes you never know like a nigga could just be like acting like he got it yeah. and just trying to i'll be feeling some type of way like right. like when trey always be paying i'll be like no i got it this time because like i just be like dang like i don't know that's just how i am i always like i'm helpful as fuck like regardless of what it is see with me i literally and i literally can always promise you this for me women never have to pay with me i mm -hmm. always pay just always like pay. always out the kind like people ask me for like little shit i like the gas station shit like that or like food on the way to like me coming to them like i'll just kindly get it out of the kindness on my heart and don't mm -hmm. like ask nothing of it like mm -hmm. if you were hanging out with me like i'm always gonna pay and i go with my friends too in general like if i fuck with you and i ride with you and you my family yeah, or, like, always looking out for me i'll be like yeah, here he goes thanks the yes. that, that's just who the person i am my grandfather yeah. raised me to be that way yeah. so yeah yeah but so we basically got the same opinion on that like let me know how y'all feel about that y'all could comment down in the comments and just you know let me know what y'all take on like whatever y'all want to comment on right. because it's some real real spill shit <laughs> and this is what's happening in society for real so yeah. i'm gonna move along and then we're gonna talk about how do you feel about like men's ego so we're gonna kind of fake Put it on towards the men because i feel like honestly okay before i say that do you feel that men are more have more ego than women yeah men are definitely more egotistic uh, yeah, yeah more egotistic than women but mm -hmm. like i don't know like i, I know some is. virgos right i know some virgo women and their egos are like superior like you can't break them like but you know i'm a virgo yeah that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying i know some virgos that what that's supposed to mean yeah that's like y'all like are prideful as people like y'all don't y'all don't rely on anybody like yeah. you can cut people off on a quick notice yeah. like no like real shit that's what i'm saying like i guess you can't really put it into sexuality but yeah. It, it really does depend on the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because anybody can be prideful about their ego, but it's just how how deep it means to you. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, it, 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 it definitely depends on the person. So. Yeah. I, I don't know. I still think that like, men has more ego. I mean, men... within, like... Like... Okay, so I feel like women are better cheaters than men. But yeah, one hundred percent. I you can't really say who cheat more because I feel like both cheat. No, at, I feel like this day of age, women are just as bad as men. Yeah, no, I'm like, saying. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, if but not. men are like more easier to get caught, and then like I feel like women like when they cheat. I'm not gonna say all women because some bitches just cheat just to cheat, but most women cheat because of like they're not getting the attention that they need or. You know, it's something lacking and their man is not being able to fulfill that with them. With the guy, I feel like it's y'all ego. Like, y'all can have a, like, a good-ass girl, good-ass woman, and 
off your ego and you want to get it stroked by somebody else, it's like, I'm a cheat. Right, and and not think nothing of it. And not thinking that they're not thinking like oh, they love they. I feel like they be really loving their girl. I'm gonna put the quotation marks, but it's sick because when I actually think about it, it's like that's how men really is. That's the sad part. Like it's like nothing you could do about it because that's really how it is. Yeah, like, cause, um, I be talking to a lot of guys and they be like, yeah, we like we literally can cheat. I, I mean, it, right, and and a, a, a it literally can only take minutes, like. For a man just to like switch up and because like men don't have periods or nothing like that, mm -hmm. so like niggas are always horny. Mm -hmm. Like that's the best way to put it. And and if your woman is like not meeting your satisf satisfaction, like it ain't quick to like call up another trick, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? But so, do you agree that men like? is more like that is their ego why they cheat more than women because i feel like women would cheat because of something that like the guys lacking and stuff like that and i got nah, like it guys i think it's 50 like, 50 50 50 yeah but like i feel I said, like more guys yeah. is like that because i just feel I, like guys need they they ego stroke even if they got a good ass woman at home they just still sometimes seek that other because okay this time i'm putting so i feel like when a guy gets with a girl and when they with them for so long they get the knowing the real them like you know like nigga you'll be cleaning up your dirty ass drawers nigga i know all like the little yeah. nitty gritty stuff about you, you and you i feel never, like they miss you never that. truly know someone like you know just like period and like not even if you're with with someone for a very long time because a motherfucker will switch up like, like i said the best way i can put it love like i'd rather have loyalty than love because love is like a attraction and a feeling yeah love someone that love you can still stab you in the For back sure. loyalty is an action and you can love or hate me but you're gonna still ride and have my back at the end of the day but love you can say you love somebody in two seconds and then in the next two seconds you love somebody else because that person looks better like trying to tell you you're just throwing that shit realize. around yeah that's why i tell people if you don't really love me don't tell me you love me you need to learn what the definition of love is first of all before you be just telling people you love them because people don't really be loving and be lust it, that's really what it's, it is. it's all and lust then, it's all lust. or you might and really would, care for the person you might i love i love him so much like no you just care about no them. like and truth be told like you literally have a 10% chance in life. And so find your soulmate. soulmate yeah. <laughs> I knew he was about to say that. And and it's either you going to pretty much like pick a nigga and end up with a bullshit. Or you might have a slim chance in life of actually encountering your soulmate. But the thing is with that, when, this is why I say it's 50-50 with the ego. Because women will blow niggas off like the love of your life could be like reaching out and trying to get with you but you been your heart got broken bad by the first yeah. nigga or what the last nigga that you just with so you think you too good for every nigga that's out there yeah. and you just blowing niggas out that's you that's you possibly missing out on your soulmate and on top of that like there's also a chance like your soulmate could possibly die before you even meet them so like that just also lessen the odds but yeah. like that's what I'm saying. The, with the ego stuff, like, it's definitely 50-50 because women feel like sometimes they too good for every nigga out here. Yeah. Like, and then and it don't even be the case. Like, a real ass, like, gentleman-ass nigga could be reaching out and trying to, like, take care of you mm -hmm. and, and give you an extra whole last life. But you like, oh, no, nah, nigga, I'm good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or it's like they don't like them or something because of something that they being shallow about or something. Yeah, but yeah, like I know life. how they say like uh like looks like looks to me matter. You know, some people like looks don't matter, but I feel like when it comes to like finding like a soulmate or somebody like they may be like a person you're not even attracted to. That's crazy, but you might just get along with them and like love is definitely blind. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Love is blind. But that's what I'm saying. And it gets a cover your mind. I'm happy for those people out there that actually find their soulmates because in a relationship wise, I have never truly experienced real love. 
I can tell you that. You feel like you just was like kind of lusting, like you like. No, that. it wasn't even that. Like I, it was me providing and doing so much for. You my never got it reciprocated. Never, yeah. Never oh, so you never back. got the love that you shown, basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like seriously. Mm -hmm. and you feel like you always love the person more. Or. Yeah, or and that I like go on my way, and I'm giving like a hundred and ten percent when I'm just receiving like thirty or yeah, that's sick. Yeah. And I feel like that too. That's the sickening part. Like, be bitter as hell. Like, damn, I'm I'm really fucking with you and all this stuff. We doing all this stuff, but I just don't feel like it's reciprocated. But that goes into talking about our next thing, where we was talking about communication with men and women. So, how do you feel like when you're in a relationship with somebody? Like, how do you feel like your communication should be? Off rips. If just uh, honesty, honesty That's is really literally good. key. Literally key. That's all I could ever ask from anybody in this world. Life, right? Like for real, for real. Because like, what are you lying for? for like. like Everybody is grown. If you're grown enough to be in a relationship, if you're smart enough and you know you want to talk to somebody mm -hmm. and and if things, if you feel like you want to go off and fuck with other people or talk to other people or you not really feeling that person, you just want them from the sex, mm -hmm. just be honest because that person could just only want you for the sex too or like, or they're not comfortable with you just like, just trying to use them like mm -hmm. that shit plays a factor that shit hurts yeah. like you got to see that from their point of view like you can't communication is always key and mm -hmm. honesty is always key yeah, like sure. if you're not honest from the jump then like there's no point like there's really no point there's really no like, point you just gonna end up dragging or hurting somebody fucking feelings yep. in the long run yep. and that's why and like i said all this shit is it just go together it goes back into ego and then that shit goes into cheating because if you feel like you too good for me i can go out and go get another bitch so like yeah most definitely all ties together but yeah i feel like communication is definitely key and that being honest stuff because if you lying like you you already fucking up the relationship right there just by even off the little lies like don't it's no reason for you to lie and i know i know a lot of people lie because they don't want to hurt the people other person's but, feelings but i feel like if you care about them enough you will run right, and, and tell, tell them, them the, the truth, truth and hurt their feelings like that that i don't get that because you know that's that little quote old baby boy when you're like i lie to you because i care about your feelings right. i'm out here telling these hoes the truth <laughs> No, nigga, tell me the truth. <laughs> you clearly respect them hoes more than me. <laughs> so Apparently. Right. Clearly, but people really, like, think that's, like, if you lie to somebody, like, you care about them more. I don't think that. I really no. do not believe that. Like, I feel like if Just, you honestly tell me you, the truth, I, you wouldn't do dumb shit to have to lie to me. Because it's a lot worse when they find out or somebody else come and tell them. Yep. Because then that makes that person look stupid or dumb because mm -hmm. they didn't fucking know. Yep. So, like, and then when they blow up on your ass and you want to play the retarded game, like. Niggas be still lying. Like, like bro, I have to prove, dog. You have to. some Somebody come get my mess. Right. <laughs> but bitches, too. Bitches be lying all the time, too. So, it ain't just like a man thing, but it's just sad. Women though. are just more secretive yeah. with it. Like Women can get away with more. That's what I said. I feel like women is more sneakier than men because men just kind of slide because y'all don't be thinking about it because y'all just be yeah. like this some shit i'm just uh women if we doing some shit we contemplating that shit we like okay this is what i gotta do i gotta stay this go on that so i don't bump it to this side <laughs> you know we <laughs> we be more strategic is that how you say it strategic yeah. about it. and y'all just be like because y'all don't be really thinking about yeah, it just like, just up, to... they be little details mm -hmm. and they slip up mm -hmm. And then I don't like how niggas get to act funny. If you don't cheat, don't act funny. Because now you just telling on yourself. Right. Like, niggas be really getting to act funny. Like, when you start playing catch up on your burgers. <laughs> 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 so, no, but, like, not all of a sudden you don't want to be hanging out with me no more. Like, not all of a sudden it's a problem because I want to come chill. Like, right. make it make sense. Make like, it and make I feel sense. like not all women, but, like, women, like, we are still just play the same. Like, like whole time, bitches be in their head, don't even like the nigga no more, but be still with him. Mm -hmm. Because I feel and like women kills, mentally leave That first. literally kills me too. I'd be like, why do you stay? Why do women stay with men 
that ain't shit not doing shit for them. You cannot fix somebody that doesn't want to be fixed. That's that's really what it is. They feel like, oh, you I'm that, that girl that'll be able to fix him. Or, or I'll be that, that rider. That. Yeah, you like, you can't you change can't. somebody if they don't want to change. No, and they won't. I had to learn they that won't. the hard way. <laughs> no, and, like, I like I give advice to women all the fucking time. And, like, because I'm just, like, a really real-ass nigga. But, like, I'll be telling them, like, don't put yourself in a situation where you still getting screwed over like if he's not doing nothing for you then leave like mm -hmm. then leave get that head get, get that, that bread, bread then, then leave, leave. Peace, peace out, out. <laughs> hey but no for real but for real, get the head, get that bread, and leave because these niggas don't be caring. <laughs> like, hey, same thing goes for niggas too. Yeah, bitches don't be giving a fuck. Yeah. If you just not that person that they want to change for and do better for, they're not going to do it. It don't matter what you do. You could cook, not clean, at all. wash everything, <laughs> smile and grin. <laughs> you could do all of that shit. Yeah, and dishwasher. A nigga still not gonna give a fuck, or a bitch still not gonna give a fuck if that if you're not the person that they honestly truly want to be with and change for. Because everybody had their demons, everybody is fucked up inside. They had their fucked up ways. I say so. It's like when you come into a relationship, you gotta try to. Sometimes you change certain things about yourself. Not saying you gotta like be fake, but you change some type of things about yourself just because you out of the love that you have for that person Personal and you want to make them happy. And if somebody can't do that for you. They're not the one. If you need they're to not let them loving go. you back, you need to go. You need like, to let that shit go. For real. And like, well, okay, women be thinking like, oh, okay, so say if they messing with a guy and they get into it about something and they stop talking. And then like women, like in our head, because I used to be like this too, but I've matured a lot. But like women in their head, they be thinking like, like say as a nigga watching their story, first nigga mm -hmm. that's watching their story, they think like, oh yeah, he want me back. No, that nigga probably just want to fuck, you know, or he just probably want the plug again and be on some bullshit again. They be like, oh look, see, uh, he still want me back. Like no. Look, no, I will say this. So, men, even I caught myself doing this shit. Men just, it's this real thing. It's a real thing. It's called the foot in foot out technique. Mm -hmm. It's like they. If y'all not together or whatever, they hit you up, like, send you a little message just so, like, you can reminisce, like, still remember mm -hmm. them. And, like, basically, they just want to keep you around just to, like, just to fuck, like, and and that's it. Like, then, then they'll ghost you, and then, like, time will pass, and, but they'll, like, send you another message, yeah. like... Like I said, it's like it's literally a true thing, and like, yeah, like they don't really want you, they but they still want to have that access like, to, to, you. to you. Exactly, yeah. they they always want to be able to have access and control you whenever. Yeah, and women don't realize that. Women just thinking like, oh look, see he keep hitting me up. He still want to fuck with me. He's still, like right. no, bitch, he just wants to. That. Yeah, like no, he just wants to. And I would tell you me. honestly, like it's not even that. Yeah. Like I have to learn that too, because you'll be thinking like, oh you that you that girl because. Your old niggas always keep hitting you up. Your old niggas always been now. Your old niggas just keep hitting you up because they still want to have access to you. Now you really, you really shit on niggas when they don't have access to you. <laughs> That's when it's really real. But women don't realize that they just think like, oh yeah, they that girl because yo nigga trying to fuck with me or it's like no, that nigga just want to fuck. Right. Like, what don't you get? But that be the fucked up part. That do. Yeah. So to sum it all up. Niggas ain't shit. <laughs> Just like, bitches ain't shit. I'm not going to call Say no. women oh, yeah, you out right. their name. But. Okay, so kings and queens are not anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just play it, but we just all got to be better in life and just push ourselves to get a better mental. That's all it right. really is. And if you don't have a queen... Treat her like a queen. And if you have a king, treat him like a king. king right. Because he deserve it. They, y'all both deserve it. Mm -hmm. Be with somebody who's going to treat you right, yeah. not who only wants you just for lust. Mm -hmm. Okay? And just for convenience or because she or he do this for me. Like, I mean, if you're going to do that to somebody, don't be with them. Don't At least, be with them don't be with them. Like, Leave that shit up fucking long. Like, if you gonna want to be on and bullshit... And do not ignore the red flag. Y'all hoes be seeing it. Qu queens. Queens, y'all queens. I, I know I can say I've ignored the red signs a lot in my past. But, fuck that, nigga. I ain't ignoring shit no more. Like, 
Kings. Fuck that oh. King. Come on. <laughs> Kings. We trying to straighten up our vocabulary because we don't want to keep saying bitches and hoes and niggas yeah. and because stuff like that. Y'all not that. Y'all, we are all empowering people. Yes. So, kings and queens. We just got to do better. Well, can I say these peasants? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it sound a little better. But, so, kings and queens. But, yeah, so, that's pretty much wrapping up this video. That was a good yeah. conversation. And, because I feel like people need to talk about this more. Like, people need to, dang, I wish you would have talked a little bit more. But we're going to leave that for later. We're going to talk about therapy and people. In yeah. the, definitely in the back, black community. Video part two. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Tell us if y'all want a part two. Tell, uh, tell us if y'all like these type of videos. Because you're going to see peanut more because uh, yeah. this is my man's and we love to have deep talks we do this on a regular without oh, the camera right, yeah. so you probably see more with him and just like other people i'll have different topics uh i'll do it with troy too also but for the most part like i'll probably do it with other people and stuff like that just to have different segments on the uh, channel and just spin it off a little bit more right. so and we're gonna pardon end words remember get that head get, get that, that bread, bread daily peace out